What's up, YouTube? It is January 2nd, 9 a.m. Happy New Year to you guys, man. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And I wish you guys succeed and get everything you hope, work for, pray for in 2023, man. Whatever it is that you want, I hope you accomplish that, man. One of my goals in 2023 is to lose some weight. I had one of my subscribers, man, on YouTube, you know, tell me that my health is, you know, telling me about my health, and he was right, you know, he was right. But I realized why I mess up it, man. I mess up it as soon as I start my diet. I'll be ready to do a cheat day within that first week. Now, if you guys don't know about me, man, I used to lift weights back in the day when I was younger. But I used to do it, I did it uh, the easy way, I used to take steroids. And um, I stopped taking steroids back when I was uh, 20, 19, 20. And everything just turned to a straight flubber. So, basically what happened. So, now I'm trying to do it the right way, you know couple of little supplements here and there creatine protein you know so i used to be real big on bodybuilding but you know got married had my oldest daughter got off got off steroids and uh started eating terribly terrible terrible so the last 15 years of my life been been on and off diets never could stick to them and uh, mainly because I was always looking forward to the cheat day. So this time, I said, man, I'm not going to worry about a cheat day until um, I'm six months in. So that's my goal, man, is to get my health back. I won't even see, I won't even say back because even when I was on steroids, that's not, that's not healthy. So... My goal for 2023 is to uh, get my get my body back in a healthy condition. So that's really my main goal, of course, and to be more successful with my business. But you know that comes with dedication, hard hard work, and consistency. So put that in, and then you ain't got no choice but to be successful. So anyway, today. Uh, we're going to try to get the F-250. Everybody seems to be closed today. Um, we're going to try to get the F-250. I got two guys that start working for me today. But I gave everybody the day off because a lot of places are closed today. And I want my guys to, to have that same, you know, day off, that same break as everybody else. So nine times out of ten, if the parts stores close, the paint stores close, or even the banks is closed, then, you know, I try to be closed on those same days to give my guys the, that same, you know, opportunity. So, with my two guys, supposed to start today, but I pushed them back till tomorrow. Really don't have anything to do today, and I see it's a few things open today. I'm going to try to um, get the F-250 paid for and picked up. So my banks aren't open, so I'm gonna have to shoot out across town, try to get as much as I can get out the ATM. And I found out the Kroger here will let you do money order with a debit card. Now the only place I've seen down here to do that was the post office. So I called Kroger, they confirmed that they will do a money order with a debit card as long as you do a pin, they will not do a credit. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to try to get as much money as I can possibly get out the ATM because I believe I only have or three or four thousand dollar limit um, debit card purchase, I believe. And none of the banks are open for me to increase that limit. So right now, guys, I'm at eight IAA. to make sure they're going to be open today and my battery is at 5% we got to swing by the shop and get some more batteries and uh, for to make sure they open if they open 
Then we're going to swing across town and uh, see if we can get out the ATM. So, let me see what's going on, man. I'll hit you guys right back. All right, YouTube, man. Change of plans, man. Change of plans. Just made the first stop at IAA and... They're closed today. That's the only thing I hate about holidays, man. We're trying to get stuff done. But, hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. The next day. So, now it's the next day. It's the next day. And now we're heading to the bank to get a cashier's check. Then we're going to shoot over to IIA. Pay for the truck. Uh, I got, like, <laughs> man, I got... Maybe like a hundred and some dollars in storage fees. I think it's only been like two days. I think it's like eighty dollars. I think it's like one sixty. I think it's like eighty dollars in storage fees. I'm not sure. Storage fees and late fees. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure if I'd be able to pick the truck up today because my partner, who uh, always go on the road with me, man, he had to take his girl to uh, to the hospital to get a uh, get a surgery done. And he might be there all day. And plus, it's raining. And we was going to try to drive the truck back. The, dr the truck has a minor wreck, minor damage on the passenger side fender. And it's on two flats. So that's the reason why I went borrow two wheels and tires back there for my buddy. So we can throw the throw the tires on and try to drive it back so hopefully nothing's wrong with the suspension but i don't know if i get time to drive up there of course i'm gonna bring you guys along if i don't then we'll go tomorrow then i bring you guys along with me tomorrow so pretty sure i'm gonna have a busy day at the shop today usually my mondays or my first days back are extremely busy people are calling for updates on their cars seeing what's going on in their cars since we're not open on the weekends so um, I try to record as much as I can but um, we'll see so run to the bank you run to IA and uh, we'll see you guys in a minute all right YouTube just got the um, cashier's check so now let's um Let's go pay for this thing.
What's up, you two? Yeah, this fool driving with his door open, and that's why he done wrecked that junk about four times. But, uh, got the receipt. We done paid for the, for the Super Duty 250. And, uh, like I said, we're going to figure out if I'm going to go out today, go up there today or tomorrow. Uh, look like the rain doesn't stop. I'm going to try to figure it out. I know I've got to go by the shop. i got to check on my guys. Uh, I'm actually like an hour and a half late. Check on my guys, see what they need. Then I got to shoot. I won't say all the way across town, about halfway across town. I, gotta, I bought a another business computer because our computer up front crashed and we've been without a computer for about a week now and we can't go another week I had to have a certain computer to run our softwares and I really needed a one terabyte, tera, whatever you want to call it. Y'all know what I mean. One tera, at least a one tera, 16 gig. But um, a 512, 12 gig. I ended up finding um, a 512 with 12 memory something like that five instead of one and 16 i found one that was like 512 and 12 um i think that'll be that'll be good i found an open an open box that was one tera and 16 gig but it was an all-in-one computer and um really didn't want to mess with the all-in-one computer plus it was 1100 so I ended up finding this one that was like 800 bucks well like 760 bucks so gotta go to Best Buy on Poplar and pick that up and bring it back and get it hooked up so my girl up at the front counter can call our CCC program people and get it re-downloaded to the new computer cause as of right now we can't do no estimates we can't do no supplements and that's pretty much like 95% of where our money comes from especially the supplements sometimes we get away with the insurance has already wrote their own supplement but then majority of the time when they tow us a car they want us to write an estimate so I know we got about five cars that we need to write an estimate for and I know I have about, I think about two I need to do a supplement for. So definitely had to uh, get a computer yesterday. But the one, the best buy where I live at didn't have it. So he had checked another store and found the one in Poplar had one left. So I bought it at the one where I live. I'm just going to pick it up off popular so all right y'all we finna check on on my guys at the shop see what they need um, as far as materials and paint materials and parts and all that good stuff and then we're gonna shoot and get the computer and come back so see y'all in the next clip the next day well you too we finally made it we got the truck out which is right there I'm on one crank. The crank right it cranked up and it shut off. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to drive it or not. We got the cables disconnected. And uh we're gonna see what they do without them cats. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do just yet. Let's see what boot figure out. We ain't bring no jump bars, I ain't bring my scanner. Let's 
You just took the negative cable off, boo? Man, I ain't know all that. Whew. All right, y'all, we finna see if we can get this motor crank. We'll be back. A few hours later. What up, YouTube? Man, we is still up here in Little Rock dealing with this F-250, man. So basically, we got here at a little bit past 8. It is 2 p.m. in the afternoon now. So basically what happened, they pulled the truck out. They pulled the truck out. We tried to crank it. The truck cranked for a second. And it wouldn't, it went dead. So I popped the hood and I noticed they had a lot of aftermarket stuff, which I get out and show you guys. They had a lot of aftermarket stuff done under the hood. So I had called my partner and told him what I saw under the hood. And he was like, the truck got a tune on it. The funnel, oh my man. So he was like, the truck got a tune on it. So I tried to look at the title to see if I could get in touch with the previous owner. It just so happened, on the side of the truck, which I show you guys, he had his business name and number. So I called him and he said he still had the tune for the truck, but he only stayed an hour and a half from where we are now. So we had to drive an hour and a half to buy the tune from him and drive an hour and a half back and put the tune on the truck. So we successfully put the tune on the truck and I guess putting the tune on the truck killed the battery. So now we had to go buy a battery. We realized the oil was low, so then we had to put the oil in it. And that's what we're doing now. So hopefully we can change the tires, do the oil, change the battery, and then we can get on the road. Cause we've been ripping and running since six o'clock this morning. So, man. This is what saved us right here. Calling him and he had the tune. And he got the tune right here. So we had to go meet up with him. Man. All right, y'all. We'll see if this works and we'll be back. What's up, YouTube? Man, this damn truck is being a pain in my ass, man. Man, this truck is giving me hell. Out of every vehicle I done bought, out of all the vehicles I bought, I've never had a vehicle give me this much hell. I've only had one. I take that back. I had one that came close to this one. And that was the bag S10 Blazer that I had bought down in Florida. If you guys haven't seen that video, man, the, the, the link is in my description. Go check it out, man. Besides that truck, man, this truck, oh my God, man. It's, and it's been since day one. Not just the last couple of days, last few days. It's been day one. I bid it, I bid it on the truck and won and was the highest bid for this amount. The insurance wanted me to pay this amount. I hit them with a counter bid of meeting them in the middle and they was dragging their feet on accepting it until they finally accepted. So from day one, this truck has been giving me pure hell, man. So the previous clip that you guys saw, all we were supposed to do was put a battery in it, put some oil in it, put the tires on it and drive it home. That did not work out as simply as simple as I just said it. That did not work out. Put the battery in, put the oil in. While we was changing the tires, we noticed that the oil filter was completely missing. Shot back to Walmart, got the oil filter, came back, tried to put the oil filter on, and realized that the oil filter housing was damaged. So, get back in the truck, tried to Google the closest AutoZone, called AutoZone, 
uh, they don't have it dealer item. Called O'Reilly's, they don't have it dealer item. So we Googled uh, the closest Ford dealership and it was actually like 12 minutes away. So we went to Ford. Got the Ford, they didn't have the part in stock. They said the part is in stock two hours away. Now it's right around about three o'clock or close to three o'clock. The place, the auction place closes at five. So there's no way we was gonna drive two hours to get the part and get two hours back and be there before five o'clock with it being almost three. Wasn't possible. So we decide to just, you know, we're just gonna go ahead and go home. So while we was heading back towards the auction, um, my mechanic boo, uh, he figure out and does something. I don't know what he do. And he said, Hey man, I fixed it. We can put that, we can put the filter on and go home. So we're like, cool. So we go back to the truck. He put the um he put the housing on and he tries to screw the oil filter on and the oil filter does not go. And the main reason why it doesn't go is because of this part right here. The radius on. This part is part of the suspension and I guess whatever he hit or whatever hit him bent the radius arm and the radius arm is supposed to be straight. Uh, straight. It actually mounts to the frame and, and bolts to the, to the axle shaft in the front and it's supposed to be straight. So whatever hit him on the side bent it like this. And when it bent it, it caused the bend to knock the oil filter completely out the motor. So now the bend is in a way in stopping the oil filter from screwing on to the motor and that resulted into us not being able to drive it home. So now we got to do it all over tomorrow. So the plan for tomorrow is I'm going to gas up right now so I don't have to do anything tomorrow. I've already called Ford. Ford got the part, the radius arm in stock. It's supposed to be on wheel call. We're going to pick it up, get on the highway, shoot straight there, swap out the parts, and try to drive it back. Um, I honestly didn't want to drive it back. I tried to get a uh, call a couple of buddies of mine who had dualies to see if uh, they let me use it or I can pay to use their truck and I can use my trailer and tow it back but either they was out of town or they was busy using the truck and told me that I can get it at a later date but getting it at a later date is going to cost more money in storage fees at the auction so they was cool enough today to waive the storage fees today since we got there so early got what they owed when they first opened the lady was nice enough to say, hey, I'm not even going to charge you storage fees today. But she was like, if you can't get it off the lot today, I'm going to have to charge you for tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to be charged storage fees tomorrow. So that's where I'm at with this little demon, man. The little demon of a truck. So um, that's it, YouTube. I'm going to fill up and see what happens tomorrow. So see y'all tomorrow. I ain't gonna say it, man. I ain't gonna say it like like I normally say it, man. I'm just gonna say, good morning, YouTube. Good morning. Welcome to day five. We're trying to get this model truck to Memphis, man. Ah, oh, man. All right, come on, man. Why you be waiting to the last minute to try to jump in, man? You knew you had to be in the left lane back there. Yeah. Day five, man. I'm trying to get this truck to back to Memphis. And I'm mad again. I'm telling y'all, man. This is like this truck is giving me pure hell. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is. I don't know if we... Are meant to be together or what man oh what oh, she just bougie man i just gotta she want me to spend some money on her first oh I, I don't know what the situation is man i don't know 
what it is. But now, we still late, man. We late. We're supposed to be there at 7 a.m. to get the part. I got up at 6.50. Waited around, got on YouTube, watched some little videos. 7 o'clock hit, started calling, no answer. It is now 8.11. They picked up around about 7.40, 7.42, 3, somewhere up in there. They finally picked up. Because uh, I was under the impression that they opened at 7. Which they actually did open up at 7. They just decided to not answer the phone until 45, 45 minutes later. So I wasn't trying to go out there and make a blank trip and just sit around for an hour, for two hours because Google said they opened up at nine. So I was thinking that, dang, they open up at nine. That's what that's what their hours are on Google. So I was laying around in the bed until they picked up and they just picked up. So now we're heading to Ford. So maybe I should have, nah, nah. The way my luck is going with this truck, if I would have got there at 7 o'clock, they wouldn't have been there. And I still would have been sitting around. So, hell, and to, and, and to be honest with you, they still might not be open. Because the person that answered the phone is usually, I deal with parts all day, every day. That's my job now. I don't paint cars no more. I don't work in the back of the shop. I go get parts and I make sure the quality of the vehicles is done right before they go home. Quality control. So, um, I deal with these people every single day. It's the same people every single day. We call, we find out parts, get parts ordered, go pick up parts, I deal with the same people. And, this person that picked up the phone is my first time talking to this person. Never talked to this person before. And then they didn't even say parts department. They said, hello. I said, this is a, uh, you know, AutoNation Ford. She said, yep. I said, this parts department. Yep. So y'all open? Yep. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay. Like, what the hell? So, I don't know. We'll see if we get there. So. All right, you two. We're gonna pull up at Ford in about, say about five, six minutes. And uh, we're gonna see if they got the part. And if they do, then we finna shoot back to Little Rock, put it on, and hopefully we can get, um, I don't know what to call this little demon, man. This little truck. But uh, we'll see. All right, see y'all next clip. Man, man, man. I'm still, bro. It's, boy, you too. I don't know what it is, man. I don't, I don't know what it is, man. Ford just pissed me the fuck off. So, I called yesterday. I told you guys I called yesterday. I talked to a guy. I talked, I talked to my sales rep that I normally talk to. All right. He told me that he was he he had the part in stock. He put the part on wheel call for under my name. So I just walked in there, and there was another guy. This is this guy. He handles he handles really handles the uh, the retail. He don't handle the wholesale. So the guy I was talking to, I guess he was handling some. He was handling business with somebody else. So I told him I said, Yeah, I got a part on wheel call for Cannon, Cannon Collision. It was like, um, uh, I, I, I don't see it in here. I don't see it in here. So just so happened my sales rep comes by. And he was like, you talked to Cannon? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, his part is this number. This is his part number. This is where it's at. Um, it's under wheel call under, his, under him. So he goes back and try to find a part. Part is nowhere, nowhere to be found. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Comes back up front and says... Man, I don't have that part. I said, man, he said it was one in stock. And he couldn't pull it yesterday. He couldn't pull the part yesterday because he said somebody had set a fire in the warehouse and the fire marshal and the fire department was there for the majority of the day and nothing in the warehouse could move yesterday. So apparently either it got sold or shipped out to somewhere else this morning 
but it pissed me off because it was under my name. The part was already saved under my name as a wheel call. And the mug sold it under from under my name. So he was, then he gonna be I almost smacked the crap out of dude, man, because he was it was in stock yesterday. Duh, dumbass! Cause I called yesterday. Well, it's not in stock now. I'm like, dude, y'all only been open for an hour and a half. You sold my part within an hour and a half if y'all opened up at 7. It's 8.30. So you done sold my part within an hour and a half. Well, it could have been transferred to another dealer. But it was supposed to have been saved under my name. So then my sales rep comes in, apologize, and said he'll make it up on the next part, give me a discount on, on the next thing I order from them. But man, that, that shit ain't cool, man. So, but he did look it up in the system and found out that a dealership in Mississippi, <laughs> which is right around the corner from my house, literally two minutes from my house, has two in stock. Two of them in stock. And I just drove cross town. Well, I ain't gonna say cross town. I just drove 15 minutes to get to this dealership because this dealership is closer to my shop. So this is the one I deal with every day. But the one around the corner from my house got two of them in stock. Boy, 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 boy. As a matter of fact, every dealership in the city has two in stock. Cordova, uh, Wolf Chase, uh, it says some other dealer, some other Ford down the street close by, but I don't, I'm not gonna deal with them. And one in South Haven, which is where I live, got two in stock. So everybody got two in stock, but y'all, and y'all sold the one that y'all had that's supposed to be mine to somebody else. Why, why, why? So, now I don't have an account set up with uh, Ford in South Haven, Ford in Mississippi. So, I'm gonna have to stop by the shop, get my business papers, take it to the Ford, in Mississippi so I can get my part in wholesale so I don't pay retail. What's crazy is my wholesale price might be a little bit higher than where I can get it from them is because the more you buy wholesale at certain dealers, certain dealerships, some of them give everybody the same discount, but some of them go like, you start off at only 10% off. And the more you order with them, the bigger your discount is. So I got about four years dealing with this dealership that I just left. And now I'm going to set up a whole new account with a new dealership. So hopefully he'll mess with me, man, to see if he'll price match the wholesale from what they gave me. The part retails at $300 and I think he said $6. And my price wholesale on the part was 142. So I'm gonna see if the guy in uh, Mississippi a price match my wholesale price in Tennessee to 142. So we're gonna see what he say. So all right, you two. See y'all in a minute, man. We're going back to Mississippi. What up, you two? <laughs> Guess what? Y'all ain't finna believe this shit. Y'all ain't finna believe this shit. Guess what? It's day six. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Can't do nothing but laugh. It's day six. I know the last clip, I was like, it's day five. Then we just switched to a whole nother day. So, I didn't even feel like recording, man. After, after, I was like, man, I went back to the shop. We did some work, got some cars done. I didn't even feel like recording. So, basically what happened is we went down to Mississippi to Ford and thought we was going to get the parts. And he didn't have the parts in stock like the other Ford said. So, 
Then I was like, what? I said, man, they told me y'all had two in stock. He said, they don't know what they're looking at. He said, man, to be honest with you, nobody around here has it in stock. So he was like, man, only thing we get in stock is the Sway Link, which is what I got yesterday. Only thing they had was the Sway Link. The other two parts, because the shock was bent too, I went ahead and bought the shock. So the radius arm and the shock both had to be ordered. Nobody had it in stock. So I went on to pay for it. And of course, it won't be in until the next day, which is today, day six. So now we're gonna head over here to Ford and see if it came in stock. I've been calling them since seven o'clock. It's now 9.53. And he was like, man, we got a lot of oil changes going on this morning. Um, give me give me about an hour. So I called him at eight o'clock. So then he was like, I think it's back there. Um, the truck came, it's a pallet worth of stuff back there. I haven't broke it down and checked it in yet. Can you give me like another hour? That was at eight o'clock. So I called him at nine. I called him right before nine. And he was like, man, I'm sorry, man. I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, man. Can you come a little bit after nine? So I'm like, damn, dude. So now it's 9.54. I haven't called him. I'm just finna pop up. So it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But I got to go to Nissan and pick up some parts from Nissan, too, because um, two cars is trying to lead today. And I need both of those parts so they can leave today. So I'm going to drop those parts off at the shop so my guys can knock those two cars out. So they can leave today. And, you know, it is what it is. So now we're going to head back to Ford, man. And hopefully they have my parts in stock. So we can get up there and get my truck back to Memphis. Boy, this is crazy. This is crazy. I told y'all, man. I don't know what's up with this truck. This little, this little demon is kicking my ass so now and also today i have to pay two days worth of storage fees i have to pay for yesterday and i gotta pay for today and today we're gonna make something happen if we gotta tie a chain to this truck and move it off their lot and move it and tow it to the nearest truck stop and we come back up here tomorrow if something happens, I'm not paying no more storage fees, man. I done gave, man, as far as late fees and storage fees, I done, I know I'm gonna pay damn near $1,000 over for what I originally bought the truck for. It's, it's crazy, it's, it's crazy. So if nothing happens today but we can't drive it, I'm gonna go buy a chain, we're gonna pull it. We're gonna pull it because if I don't get it today, then that means I won't be able to get it until Monday because they're not open on the weekends. Then I will have to miss another day of work because I'm already done miss two. I miss Wednesday. I'm going to miss today if something, if everything doesn't go wrong. And then if I don't get it today, that means I'll have to come back on Monday, which I will miss another day of work on Monday. Nah, that's not happening. And I'm not paying no more storage fees. So if nothing goes right to where we can't drive it, we're going to put it in neutral, and we're going to pull it off their lot to the next gas station or truck stop, put it in a parking spot, and then we'll just come back tomorrow and Sunday and figure it out. So either way it goes, it's, it's getting here before Monday. So, all right, YouTube, man. I'm going to pull up at Ford, and I'm going to see what they say. So be back in a minute. Boy, you too. You too. Man, I'm happier than a midget at a miniskirt convention, boy. Got parts. That big long arm and that little box. Whew. Yes, sir. Now I got to run by Nissan. And then we finna head on up here and uh, see what we can do. So, see y'all in the next clip. Yeah, we two for two, you two. I just picked up my other two parts that I need for my customer's cars. 
man they said they were supposed they they said they had them yesterday but they couldn't find them so they ordered them and nissan had these parts boy Look like it's gonna be a good day hope everything goes right with the truck though we're gonna we ain't gonna what's that old saying put the put the carriage before the horse we ain't gonna do that we're just gonna hope everything go right and while we up there my crew get these five six cars out today so it'll be a nice payday we're just gonna hope everything go right it's gonna be a good friday because uh right now the way things going right now well, I'm happier than a jealous girlfriend who just cracked the password to her boyfriend's phone, boy. Man. So, I'm finna drop these parts off to the shop, then we finna hit this highway. See y'all in a minute. Well, YouTube, we made it. My boy over there, he done got the old arm off. He rolling, man, and he put a new arm on, so hopefully within the next 10, 15 minutes, we'll be on the road. We try to crank this thing and make sure everything's good. So, uh, yeah, we're putting the arm on now. Finna put the shock and the sway bar link. So, we'll see in 10 minutes. See if this thing cranking, uh, get up out of here. We'll be back. What's up, YouTube? Man. Boy, boy, boy. Yes, you can guess. You can guess it is more bad news. So, we got all the suspension on. I had just bought a new battery the day before yesterday it's got two batteries i only bought one thinking that one would hold up so we got all the suspension on the truck and i guess the second old battery killed the new battery so i had to come back to walmart to get another new battery and hopefully we can officially get on the road man tried to crank it and that mother just tick 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 i'm like damn so shot down down the street about 10 minutes away to the walmart and now i'm gonna pull back up to the auction put this battery in and hopefully we can pull off and head home so see y'all in a minute what's up you two Welcome to day nine. <laughs> Boy, it is Monday, January 9th, 6.03 a.m. And we are heading back to Little Rock to get the demon truck. <sighs> so, I left you guys, the last clip was... I was leaving Walmart getting another battery because the old battery killed the new battery and the reason why that happened was because uh, my partner said he had forgot to close the hood so y'all know we didn't get back the next day so the hood was halfway propped um, and it's a little light that's under the hood and it stays on so for like a little over 24 hours well a lot over 24 hours the hood stayed prop and then um while we was trying to put the uh the suspension on we tried to put the car the truck in neutral so we try to push it back and i left the key on for about uh, I'd say about 20, 30 minutes. And I guess that went on and killed it. So I tried to go buy another battery, which is what you guys saw in the last clip. And not only was it the wrong style because it made it to where the terminals, you had to turn the battery backwards and the terminals was too short. So then we tried to turn it sideways, put the terminals on, and that new, the newest battery, and with the new battery, it just still wouldn't crank. Um, the new battery that I, had, that I had bought the first time was just too dead. So, man, man, man. 
So we was like, it's over with. So we ended up having to drive home. Now we was gonna take a chain and pull it to the next rest area so we can come back on Saturday. But when we went and looked at the rest area, it wasn't the actual rest area. It was just like a open space for 18 wheelers to park and go to sleep. It wasn't even a parking for cars. So we felt like if we told it, if we pulled it there, either somebody was gonna vandalize it, steal it, or you know, tow it away because it wasn't an 18 wheeler. So I wasn't really the, wasn't wanting to take the chances because every bad luck that you can possibly think of has happened with this truck. And it would, would be just be fuel added to the fire just to tow it there and something happened to it or get told by the state trooper and then I can't find it. So I was like, man, forget it, man. We'll just leave it there and just come back Monday. So what I did yesterday was um, I went and bought two batteries. I actually went and bought a brand new battery from O'Reilly's and I went and bought the same battery from Walmart. So um, if I can get the other battery to take a charge, then I just take the one that I bought last night back and get my money back. But I'm taking two hot batteries. I'm actually taking four hot batteries. Um, the old new battery that I bought, my mechanic was able to uh, get it to charge last night. Either Boo or my partner, man, one of them got them to charge last night. And the old battery that we took out the truck, they was able to get it charged at the charger that we got out the shop. But I'm bringing my boost box, which I should have been brought. So I'm bringing two brand new batteries out the store. One semi new battery, one used battery, which those will be fully charged. Uh, two gauge jumper cables, a jump box, and my snap-on computer. I don't know if you guys can see that, but bringing my uh, snap-on computer too. So we're gonna try to get this thing to the house today, man. I'm not even gonna make any promises. I'm not even gonna say we're gonna get it because every time I say that, man, shit go wrong. So. Bro, why in the hell are you turning around in the middle of the street? Then you run into a ditch. Look at this damn fool. Man, I gotta turn around and show y'all this shit. I gotta show y'all this dumbass. Man, you a dumbass. This man turned around in the middle of the street. Almost causing me to have a freaking wreck. And he run into a fucking ditch. Yeah, I'm gonna put your stupid ass on camera, bro. Cause you almost made me wreck my shit. Look at this dumbass. Look at this dumbass right here, boy. Look at this dumbass right there. Nah. Now I'm gonna turn around and let y'all see it again. Cause I gotta go back to the shop. But man, people do some stupid ass shit, man. Bro, man just literally just stopped in front of me to do a U-turn, bro. And cause, my almost cause a damn car pile up, fool. I ain't folks do some stupid ass shit. It's just not, bro. It's all starting out bad already. I ain't gonna say start out bad because nothing bad happened to me. Something bad happened to his ass. So y'all look at this dumb ass, man. Look at this damn fool right here.
This man done put a whole box truck in a ditch. Like, I'm gonna show y'all. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. This man was literally in this lane right here. And, but he was a little bit back there. And he just, just stopped. Just stopped in the middle of the street, bro, and turned around. But he was back there, though. And turned straight into a ditch. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, these folks crazy, man. All right, y'all. Uh, <laughs> finna pick up Boo. Finna pick up Boo. Uh, and then we gotta go pick up my partner, Maine, at his house. Then we're gonna hit this road, man. We're running a little late. But uh, I'm gonna make up for it on the road because the good thing about Arkansas and going up there, speed limit 75, so I can do a good 80. I usually do 85, and they don't really mess with me, so do about 85. So, all right, man, I'm gonna see y'all. It's dark, so man, I see y'all when the sun comes up or when we get up there. See y'all in the next clip. All right, y'all, we finally on the road. Ain't gonna jinx it, so we just gonna say we on the road. Hopefully, we make it home with no issues. Got about two hours to go. See y'all when we get to Memphis. Two hours later. Made it to Memphis, y'all. We just got a little turning issues. My guy said it won't turn left. Damn, I see it. Damn, we gotta see what's up with this shit. You think it might be the gearbox? Some on that shot stripped out. Some on the gearbox stripped out? The gearbox, the steering wheel. You don't think with the steering wheel being sideways, it just can't turn all the way? I did that. They were doing it the other day when you had pulled off and I was turning that junk. It like it skipped. Then they'll catch up. So I need to put a new gearbox on it? Probably have to wait to see. To get up on it and see. Alright. Well, we down the street from the shop, so Slick made it. See y'all when we get there. We almost there. We're right down the street. All right, you two. We done made it to the shop. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet because the video already long enough. It ran good. My guy said AC work, heat work, runs perfect, runs perfect. We just gotta figure out what's going on with the steering. Um, I've already ordered a white fender and a headlight for that side. It'll be here tomorrow. So. We'll probably start the repairs this weekend and give it a good detail. But I'm just happy it's here. I'm happy it's here and that it runs good. No check engine light. Cause I brought my scanner and I scanned it before we left and it has no check engine lights. And I have the high dollar snap on where I can run diagnosis on the engine, the computer, and I did the whole pre-scan and it has no issues mechanically. So it's all cosmetics. So made it safe. So we're gonna end the video right here. And part two, man, we'll start the repairs and uh get it detailed and get it cleaned up. And uh this is gonna be my daily. The Yukon is going to go back on the garage, which is right there. <coughs> the Yukon is going back on 30s and back in the garage. So that's it. Subscribe and see what I do next.